Hi, everybody. Welcome to 5 Under 20, where we ask five interesting questions to someone amazing under 20 minutes. I'm Pleasance, a psychologist, and my partner here is Eugenia, amazing model, partner actress, <laughs> and all-around fantastic friend. I love how you say partner. It's so fancy. It's like we're on the, you know, like detectives, oh, like yeah. about to discover we're in our it. amazing we're in it up guest. To here. Up to here. <laughs> and I'm so excited, you guys, to have an amazing, amazing, Aww. like energy like your energy just screams through the roof and oh, once i met you i just knew that it, i have to know you more and investigate you in this podcast uh, michelle you know it, you're an amazing showrunner thank you entrepreneur creator you know you really stand out as somebody really inspirational actually uh -huh. to me because you know you're in front of the camera as an actor and the host but also somebody who gives others opportunity, like For sure. you gave to us with creating this studio. And I think it's really beautiful. So I'm really excited Absolutely. to have you. Wow, that means so much. Thank you for having me. I'm so honored to be a guest on your show. I, I, I fangirled with both of you. Um, so I'm really excited to be here and thanks for having me. You're our partner in crime. Yes, yes. I'm so happy. For, I'm the so next, happy. for the next 20 minutes, yes, let's we're in it. it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> You're going to be the first one to touch her. I am. <laughs> okay, so our questions, so oh, everybody wait. knows, are a little bit different. Okay. They're not the usual questions. Um, and so I'm going to ask you this one. Do you fly a lot? Let, let me just ask you that before I ask this question. What counts as a lot? Well, let me just tell you. What is the worst seat on the plane for Ooh, you? Oh, the center is the worst for oh, me. Where? Oh, Front, oh, back, oh. middle. Great question. And why? Back, because I get claustrophobic. Is it is the plane skinnier in the back or something? I, a, <laughs> I don't know. There's something about the back of the plane in my mind. It feels like if something were to go wrong, I would not make it. Oh, that's kind of dark, right? Okay. Is that messed you up? Want, you want to be more dark? No, I was not really. An airplane <laughs> crash. You were. I was. What? And when? the safest seat on the plane is the last. It is. It is. That's okay, right. Okay, then I She's take it right. back. It's a great seat. <laughs> I was gonna say it, and then I just held it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's by the toilets, the one back there. Yeah. That's the same. I'll let my husband fly first class. So I'm like you go in the front. You no, go in the she's, front. She's absolutely right. Oh, yeah. okay. It's crazy. Yeah, we had this uh, just to share. You know, we had air. Friends crash and oh it was like God. the hermitization of the cabin and they first of all air friends doesn't put the you know the the things like the mask? To it doesn't come out unless it's a fire and like well let me just put everything on fire now oh my gosh and then people's ears because it goes down first like obviously up front it, it's more traumatic so people were traumatized with their ears popping out and i was like safest one when was this it was uh, i was 18 i would say you oh know, my I gosh trying to leave paris and somebody told and some Forest is like, you're not leaving Paris, you have to come back. <laughs> and so my airplane just crashed, yeah, and it started falling apart. And I, I've seen Jesus. a lot of human nature. Yeah. How did you bounce back from that? I like how you're asking me questions and you were the guest. Uh, now. What is happening? I'll stop talking, I'll stop talking, I'll try. I want to know more about you. Okay. You know, you're the one. <laughs> okay, that's Okay, so fair. second question. Okay, yeah, we ask these like really, you know, simple questions, but there is like a trick to that, like after I guess, right? Sure. Um, my question is, because I'm so into music, I'm like obsessed about music. Um, if there's one song and you have to play it forever and only one song existed and we like burn all the yes. other songs like an orange as well. For the rest of what your life. What would it be for the rest of your life? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, it would probably be Don't Stop Believing, um, oh. Journey. I think, right? Journey, don't stop right. believing. Steve Perry version. Oh yeah, Steve Perry okay. version. Oh. Not, not the guy that looks like <laughs> yeah. Steve Perry. That's, have you seen that guy? He looks like Steve Perry. Yeah, is he really the singer now? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, um, <laughs> don't stop believing or um, this is, I'd probably drive myself crazy, but I'm walking on sunshine. Oh, oh that's nice. <laughs> We both went off. <laughs> I know, it's kind of cheesy. Um, I just like to feel good and light like yeah. i can go dark so easily and really? yes like you're my, such a light person <laughs> i would never see you dark i'm an like. overthinker i over i can overthink yeah. everything and anything and like so if i'm not on a trajectory of like acknowledging the things that are going well in my life i can veer off mm -hmm. and and that 
is just something that I've learned through my grandmother, I learned through my father. Mm. My mom was a totally upbeat, lovely, incredible woman. And uh, yeah, I just want to keep it light as much as I can. You know what Acknowledge I the dark, but keep it light. You know what I learned? Like the most creative people are actually overthinkers. And I never knew that because I, I can relate to that. And I feel it just Absolutely. makes you more creative because your mind you have to focus it, but like learning through therapy, you know, like I acknowledge that it's not a bad thing because they try to hide it so much and in a bad destructions way, you know, yeah. bad habits where you Absolutely. distract yourself with not thinking, you know, and I consciously try to like, Music can change okay. all that. Yeah, yeah we. Sure. Well, that's how we start uh, the show. My show, Good Day Live, every morning we have music yeah. because we are coming from two different places. Me and my co-host, and so every morning we got a song. Yeah, and that's and we awesome. just like motion creates emotion. So we just want to like shake it off and like you know dance. So. I love your so show. Ah, it was so much fun. You guys had so much energy. Because usually I like have so much energy, but you guys Thank like you. topped it up. Like Aww. walking in sunshine, it's like literally you walk out here and you're like, Aww. oh my god. <laughs> that means so much to us. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay, you want to? No, no, no. We're just. I just. Uh, I, I'm listening. I'm learning. It's really nice. That. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, question is: What's the most annoying thing somebody could do in public? Oh, <laughs> there are so many things. I am a big person of acknowledging other people. So like oh. when I see somebody, I like to say hi. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I'm from like Whoville as my friend says, <laughs> or like another <laughs> world, but like I like to acknowledge people. And mm -hmm. it, when, I don't know, I just, I think it goes back to like, the tribal times you want to be Absolutely. accepted by everyone. So mm -hmm. when I say hi to someone and I get like a cold shoulder, it drives me insane. I know it's not about me or them, it's just like a thing. Yeah. Well, doesn't it like drives you crazy just to live in LA because it's a hier hierarchy town and like everybody basically tries to get to the next level? Yeah, like, yeah. But yeah. do you think that matters as much as just being a m motor city? I mean, I think motor? yeah, because people people are in cars. Like oh. in New York, you know, you can walk no, down the sidewalk it's the and industry. You know, making it to Leo Stable at Coachella, I really like saw the steps. I I I, <laughs> okay. I know I understand, <laughs> but it's just but it but I think though that people discredit you know social skills are something that need to be practiced. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in I'm New York, you. you can walk down the sidewalk and you can say hi, you say hi uh, and I don't know. Or, I'm usually like pretty good at communicating and my friends really wanted to be at his table and like I, I know him for a long time you know so I asked the promoter I didn't want to like shout like hey yeah. see me like you know my son played basketball like whatever <laughs> and the promoter was so mean to me just because he was a mean person yeah. you know yeah and he just totally ignored ignored me I mean we made it anyway so shout out <laughs> Sidebar. Yeah, I guess being rude is really what it is, ultimately, is the, the one thing that drives me nuts. It's like, it takes nothing to be kind. You never know, I mean, you know this, we all know this, we never know what's going on on the inside. Yeah. And because I overthink, like, I, if I can just be, like, pleasant to someone or kind, yeah. it takes nothing. And um, when it's not received or reciprocated, I get annoyed. Yeah, totally. I mean, I, I'm with you, but I think it's a survival mechanism, right? I think Which so. Is, yeah. I, in that airplane crash, I saw that people were jumping over kids and stuff oh like my that. Oh my gosh! Terrible, you know. So, and I came to the stewardess and like, this happens to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving her a big hug. <laughs> I mean, but I'm with you. Yeah. All right. I'll ask you another question. Please. Um, talking of that, it's a perfect question. What do you think is an ideal amount of friends to have? Oh, this is a good one. I would say <laughs> five. <laughs> think five. Why? Is, because I think any more, any more than like five really close friends, now we're getting into like acquaintance territory. Like how many, how much time do you have in the day? You know what I mean? Like, so I think it's like significant other maybe, uh, like the best friend from like grade school. And then I don't know who the other three are. <laughs> I'm not Maybe sure. Three. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't, five is actually a pretty high number. That is a high number. That's why I'm saying, like, yeah. I'm counting mine, and I'm like, wait, maybe it's just And three. as you get older, it gets less. Yeah, really? so maybe it's three. Yeah. But do you think you just have to consciously work on making it? Like You do, absolutely. Yeah. And people just don't want to work at it. 
So people would much rather go inward and be like, no bullshit and not, you know, yeah, like, no bullshit. I learned one thing is like, once you get older, <laughs> which you taught me, like a lot of people just don't want to work on themselves and grow and like, they kind of like close up, right? Like this is my set of skills and, and this is my truth. And, and I think everybody has the right to do that, Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean. Yeah. How many friends do you have? Um, it, it's probably in the lower range. <laughs> <laughs> You this question. You're like, I don't want to be exposed. <laughs> it's like, I'm in the my own uh, I, you know, I mean, it just, it, it's varying degrees of friendship, though. You yeah. know, it's people that, that, you know, you can call and, and share, and then there's people that know you, and... I would say people so, who, who show up at your emergency and they yeah, try to... I my my sister-in-law said something so funny. She was like, I went to a funeral the other day of someone very young, unfortunately, that passed, and there were thousands of people there. Mm. She goes, I realized that I would have very few people <laughs> at my wow. funeral, so I am out courting friends. <laughs> oh, my God. Just, just this so is, I make this sure. This is dark. This is so it's dark. It's so funny. It's true, though. It's, it's so true. funny. And she's that's like, life, right? Like, well, it's just like, like wedding, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's it. How many people okay. were at your wedding? Oh my God, I didn't know anybody at my wedding. You didn't know and, anyone? Your husband, right? Well, yeah, my, my, <laughs> okay. yeah, I just moved to LA. And then this director, <laughs> he stood up and was like, toast. And he made um, a toast to himself. Wait, for what? <laughs> Are you sure this is not a scripted <laughs> comedy? That's hilarious. <laughs> my famous director, I won't say who, he's actually like kind of semi, semi friend now, you know? Okay. But he's like, Bill, thank you so much for making my movie. I'm like so appreciated that you produced it. I'm like, okay, hello. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm so glad you found love. It's so yeah. special. But that movie you made with me was, you know, next and, and then he said that be careful who you marry because the guy who was marrying us, he was an actor. So <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> I love this. Uh, I love okay, these questions. Question. Oh my gosh, I do have a question. So, um, growing up, mm -hmm. did you eat sandwiches or hot dogs? Ooh, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> you know what's so strange? I didn't eat hot dogs ever. Like, I think I had a hot dog like once. Why? Uh, I don't. I my mom. Um, it's ma major Italian, so yes. she made oh. our our meals. Mm -hmm. So I would like come to school with like a, a full meatball on, sandwich. No, not no, <laughs> not even that. Like a full on like bowl of like pasta and meatballs and like like a garlic bread. Wow, you grew up here, <laughs> so, right? No, I grew up in Silver Spring, Maryland. So oh, nice. I, I, and I would just oh, ask, wow. can I just please get oh, that's hot why lunch? You're so nice and not jaded. Well, probably, it. probably. Yeah. It's the walking on sunshine and repeat in yeah, the back of my yeah, head. So yeah. it's like, don't go there, don't Completely. go there. Yeah, my kids never make it. So I guess uh, sandwiches, but not really. Okay. okay. Did you cut the crust off the sandwiches? Sometimes. It depends. Mm. I want to know. I want to know why. Yeah. That's a great I, I question. Mean, I don't know. I want to know why too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like taking notes. There's something <laughs> interesting to learn about someone because, I mean, crusts are you eat the whole thing. Did your parents tell you to eat the whole thing? Most kids cut it off, but they only cut it off for a while and then they move on where they don't need it. And then, you know, is it just a kid being an asshole and saying <laughs> that they, they want the crust off and work for me mom? I don't know. You know, it's just an interesting thing to learn. How about you? Yeah. Oh, I ate the whole thing. Oh, okay. What kind of it's sandwich? Mandatory. For me? Yeah. I, I can live on peanut butter and jelly. Really? Huh? Wow. We grew up in food line, so I was like, we... For some time, we had only a bag of oatmeal and sugar, and nothing else. Oh my god! And like we had to get creative, you know. Yeah. Like we would fry the sugar. I mean, it made me so creative. Like I was like, imagine food, you know, in my mind, and I have like no emotional attachment to food now. Wow. It definitely created a lot of eating disorders. I was gonna so. say, there's no <laughs> eating disorders there. Yeah. yeah. I was like kind of no. mixy. Like chance, trust me, like every eating disorder you can imagine, I had it. Plus modeling, you know. So yeah, food is like. I'm still, I only eat, eat Afro-Zidiac food, yeah. or how you call it, so I'm getting like acquainted with like food that makes you feel good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I like that too. I love oatmeal though. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Good to know. I love oatmeal. Uh, yeah, it's a throw-in. I think you have another question now. No, yeah, I just think we, ending every segment, what I think oh, yeah, we yeah, would yeah. like to do that. is just asking everybody like, what's the best piece of advice mm -hmm. anybody ever gave you? These are great questions. Ah, 
You know, my mom always told me that uh, you got to follow your joy and what oh, brings you nice. joy. And it has not been easy following my joy. Mm -hmm. It's been very challenging, but I think that is the best piece of advice because anytime I go a little to the left or a little to the right, I start to get sick yeah. or I get like really physically? anxious. Oh. Yeah, or just like really just because I am such a sensitive person, mm -hmm. Yeah. It just, and I know we all are, but yeah. like best piece of advice, follow joy as much yeah. as you can. Do you feel like life throws shit at you all the time? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm like, I constantly Doesn't think I, everybody. I constantly think I'm on like on, on a sitcom. I'm like, you can't make this up. I'm like, you really can't like have to come. I, yes, please. That's what <laughs> MAM Studios is all about. No, no, every, cause I look at the world like a, and I think that's why I can stay so optimistic overall is cause I look at the, sh the world like a giant show because mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, that's a character. Oh, you can't make that up. Like, when I, you so know, it's a stranger than fiction. It really is. Yeah. It's super weird. And I know, you know, like, and we all know, like, yeah. it's just like, especially in LA, like everyone's a character Oh gosh. and I know I'm, I'm definitely one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like I just met a guy who like has a big as a, as a pet or like whatever. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. Super cute, very famous. <laughs> Super cute, very famous. <laughs> a lot of people have pigs. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't think I could do a pig. I have a dog. She's this big. Anyway. Oh my God. Yeah. What's the best piece wonderful. of advice you got? Oh, can I throw the question back? Yeah. <laughs> yeah and then, okay, and then we'll wrap it okay, up. Okay, okay, okay. Over 20. Okay. Um, oh, has it been over 20? I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> we can't count her blood. <laughs> <laughs> Not naturally. I got that. I got that. Not naturally. <laughs> no, I think it's I think it's along with you, you know? Be honest. Mm. Be truth yeah. to yourself. And I think you'll be happy. Yeah. You know, you. do you. Do For you. me, is um, living in the moment. Mm. And not anticipating what's going to happen next. Mm, that's a tough one. It's so beautiful. And you know, like, I just realized how amazing it is. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm glad this is on camera so right. that we can remember this. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> the girl that does not look that way. Uh, where we're going. That sounds great, really everybody. Like... We hope you can take that to heart. Um, <laughs> and on that note, we want to thank everybody. Thank everybody for Thank showing up and watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Thank and you. Also, watch the show. Come to the studio if you have any kind of ideas. This is an amazing space. Aww. The lighting is fantastic. <laughs> so you guys can be all stars, and we're looking for the next, not Kardashian, but whoever you are. Hey, thank you. <laughs>